Cepheid variable stars and other similar objects are what we call standard candles. When we see an object in space, we can see its brightness. But we know that brightness of an object depends on how far it is. This flashlight may seem dim to you, but if I bring it really close, it'll get brighter. However, we need to find a way to standardize this brightness. We standardize this brightness with what we call absolute magnitude. Absolute magnitude is the brightness of a star if it is a certain distance away, in this case, 10 parsecs. For example, our sun is a very bright star in the sky, but there are other brighter stars out there. However, they don't seem as bright to us because they're really far away. So that's why the brightest star in our sky is the sun. But if we put the sun and all these other stars at an equal distance away from us, 10 parsecs, we'll see that the sun isn't one of the brightest stars, not even close actually. There are much brighter stars out there. How does this relate to standard candles, you might ask? With standard candles, we know how bright the object is. And if we know how bright the object is, we can find out how far it is. Take this flashlight, for example. We see that this flashlight is a certain distance away from us. However, like I said, if we get closer, the light that we receive from this flashlight is much more. This light falls off following the inverse square law. The farther we are, the intensity goes down by one over distance squared. In a similar fashion, even though that's not the exact same law we use for standard candles in space, we can find out how far the object is by knowing how bright it is. We could only know how far the flashlight was from us because we knew how bright it is. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free and you can change your mind at any point in time and it really helps me out as well.